Welcome to the Magnify Your Miracles podcast. Get ready to be inspired, uplifted, and connected to the miraculous energy of unconditional love that I call Mother Mary. If you're a highly sensitive, highly creative entrepreneur or light worker, and you want to magnify your impact and your intuition, you are in the right place. I'm your host, Reverend Francis Faden, interfaith minister, intuitive coach, and author of Meditation is Friendship with God. I can't wait to share miraculous stories, books, meditations, messages, and interviews with other miraculous light workers just like you. Are you ready to magnify your miracles? What are we waiting for? Let's get started. Hello, my miraculous friend. This is Reverend Francis Faden, and I just wanted to take a moment to let you know that this episode is actually an encore of one of my most popular episodes, one of my most popular meditations with Our Lady of Lords. Boy, I recorded this in the first year of the Magnify Your Miracles podcast, and I've gotten so many compliments about it and people telling me how helpful it's been. So I decided to go ahead and dust off this episode and re-release it for you because we're coming up on the feast day of Our Lady of Lords, which is February 11th. So I wanted to give you a little bit of time to do this meditation, really get you in that mode so that you can enjoy the benefits of the meditation and of this beautiful feast day in February. So please let me know if you enjoyed it. If there's anybody that you know that might benefit, let them know about it. And thank you so much. Hello, my miraculous friend. This is Reverend Francis Faden and welcome to another episode of the Magnify Your Miracles podcast. And today we're going to be doing a guided meditation. And so I'm asking you if you are driving or doing anything where you need your full attention, please do not listen at this time. Make sure that you do later when you're home, when you're in a space where you can close your eyes and let yourself completely relax. All right. So assuming that you are home or someplace where you can really take in this experience, I'm going to ask you now to make sure that you're in a comfortable position. Let yourself close your eyes. Take a few deep breaths. And while you're getting yourself really grounded and centered, I'm going to ask you to give yourself permission to let go of whatever happened before you started listening or whatever might be happening later. And just come deeply into the now. Knowing that the now is where the divine dwells, always in the present moment. And I'm going to ask you to let float up to the forefront of your mind, whatever your own healing need might be, what you would love to really receive from this particular meditation. Focusing on the energy of Lords. And whatever that reason is, whatever healing you might be needing. I'm going to ask you now to see if you can tune into the feeling behind whatever that reason is. In other words, what you're really wanting to experience. So if you can imagine yourself already receiving whatever that healing could be, it could be physical healing, mental, emotional healing, spiritual healing, financial healing, healing in any area of your life, whatever it might be. If you received it, what would you be feeling? What does healing feel like to you? And it might feel like relief or vibrancy, energy, 
flexibility. It might feel like calmness, inner peace, stillness. It might feel like joy or expansion. Whatever it feels like to you, let yourself experience that now that you have already received it. And if you're not sure, just focus on the energy of gratitude, being so grateful that you've already received it. And as you're letting your whole body, mind, and spirit be flooded with that vibration, sending out a very powerful intention, I'm going to ask you in that beautiful mind's eye of yours to imagine that you can see a little ball of golden light right in the middle of your chest. And that as you are breathing in, you can see and feel this beautiful golden light vibration expanding. Breathing out anything you no longer need. Just allowing this beautiful golden light to continue to bless your body temple and your energy until in the next inhalation you can see and feel this beautiful golden light filling your entire chest area, front and back, inside and out. Now we know that this beautiful golden light vibration, this is the frequency that your higher self lives in at all times. And we are simply increasing our awareness of it. So on the next inhalation, let this process continue as you let yourself see and feel this energy moving rapidly down the body, into the legs, the feet, the toes, down the shoulders into the arms and the hands, up the neck into the head until you are completely filled with this beautiful golden light vibration. And then allow that energy to move beyond the boundaries of the body into your energy field until you see and feel yourself as a beautiful golden light being. And what we've done is we've raised our vibration, which always expands our awareness. And I'm going to ask you now, in your mind's eye, to let yourself just imagine that you are in a beautiful grotto. You can hear the running water behind you. And in your mind's eye, you gently turn around and you can see the luminous form of Mother Mary up on a rock, smiling down on you. In her right hand, she's holding a rosary. As she smiles at you, she brings her hands up to her chest in prayer position. And she is asking you to pray with her. She is asking you to offer your prayers to her. Let her know the healing that you're seeking. Whatever your intention is today, share that as you would with a friend or with your own mother or whoever you feel is a trusted confidant and just lay your heart before her. And as you do this, you notice that every word 
comes out of your mouth or every tear that drops from your eye becomes a beautiful rosary bead on this infinite rosary chain that she has in her hands containing all the prayers and all the words throughout time. And Mother Mary lovingly receiving your words and your prayers and your intentions. And as you are letting yourself share these prayers with her, talking with her as a friend, notice that your own heart is becoming lighter and lighter. And you notice your whole energy field becoming lighter and clearer. Just by the simple act of sharing and praying with Mother Mary. And allow yourself now to see Mother Mary coming down from the rock in the grotto and standing before you with so much love and so much compassion in her eyes. And she takes a beautiful garland of roses, places them around your neck, to bless you with the vibration of unconditional love, to reassure you that your prayers are heard and received and answered. And Mother Mary is asking the beautiful Saint Bernadette, who is standing behind her, to come forward now. And she asked St. Bernadette to put her hands into the ground and to scoop up some water. And as she does this, in your mind's eye, you can see that that water is crystal clear and it has a luminescent quality to it. It's almost like liquid light. She asked St. Bernadette to pour this water, to release this water over the top of your head, washing away any sadness, any fear, any worry, any energy that's no longer serving you. And let that water cascade down over every part of your body, blessing every cell of your body, clearing away anything that doesn't belong there, penetrating deeply to the very core of your being. And then as if magically, miraculously, this energy starts to move from within without into your energy field. And this beautiful liquid light starts to fill your energy field and is blessing and clearing each one of your energy centers, starting at the root chakra, at the base of the spine, moving up to the second in the lower abdomen, bringing this luminous 
liquid light energy up to the third chakra in your upper abdominal area, into the heart chakra, right in the middle of the chest. And she's asking you to take three deep breaths while it's at the middle of the chest. And allowing that energy to move up to the throat chakra at the very base of the neck. Up to the third eye in the middle of the forehead. And at the very top of the head at the crown chakra. And then cascading down around you like a beautiful oval of light into your energy field. Like this beautiful fountain. And you feel not only your physical body, but your emotional body and your mental body and your feeling body, all of the different levels of being that you are filled and blessed with this healing liquid light of Lord's. And Mother Mary bends down and puts her hands on your feet to ground this energy and to bless you. And she's taking the mud of the ground of Lords and wiping it all over your feet and allowing the blessings of Mother Earth herself in this very sacred spot to penetrate deeply into the bottoms of your feet so that you are always standing on miraculous ground, that wherever you go is sacred, and that every place that your foot touches the ground is blessing and healing you. And she's wanting you to remember this when you go for a walk or anything that you do, you're being healed at the same time. That this healing is not an event, but it is a way of life. And now she's asking St. Bernadette to Pass her a small jar of oil, holy oil, sacred oil. And she's taking this oil and brushing away your hair and putting it on your forehead very gently and very lovingly. And she's saying a few words in Aramaic that I'm not familiar with but she's telling me that she's sealing this meditation for you so that the benefits of this meditation will be with you always. And now she's taking that rosary, that beautiful, beautiful, rosary that's around her hand and holding it between her hands and asking you to hold her hands as well and all the blessings and all the power from all the prayers that she has said are coming through your hands and into your into your body now from her hands to your hands and into your body and you can feel that vibrational power Raising the vibration of your body, mind, and spirit, and attuning it with Our Lady of Lords.
And now very gently, she's putting her hands on the top of your head and giving you a final blessing. And then she is going back up to the rock in the grotto. And I'm going to give you a moment to offer your thanks and your gratitude to her for this healing. We're going to say thank you to Mother Mary and release her from our circle. Thank you to St. Bernadette and all the great ones that were helping us. We're going to bring your awareness back to your beautiful body temple. And just allow yourself to become more aware of how your body is feeling and the surroundings of your room where you are. Notice how your body is supported right now. If it's sitting on a chair or laying on a bed or whatever it might be, notice all the places where your body is being supported. And then as if your feet are right on the floor, let yourself imagine in your mind's eye that you can see and feel the energy of Mother Earth rushing up and connecting with the bottoms of your feet, bringing that magnetic energy of Mother Earth, which is so nurturing, but very, very grounding. Moving up swiftly through your feet, into your ankles, up through your calves. Moving through the knees and the thighs. Moving up through the hips and into the lower part of the torso moving up the spine into the middle and upper torso and down the arms, up the neck and into the head until you see and feel yourself completely filled with this beautiful grounded Mother Earth energy. And it's a good time to move this beautiful body temple, gently moving the fingers, the toes, rotate your shoulder, whatever works for you. And then taking one more deep breath with me, And you can open your eyes. All right. Well, once again, thank you so much, my friend, for joining me for this guided meditation with Our Lady of Lords. And thank you for listening to another episode of the Magnify Your Miracles podcast. God bless you. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Thank you for listening to the Magnify Your Miracles podcast. I'm so grateful to be able to spend this time with you. If you want even more inspiration, feel free to visit my website, francisfaden.com or magnifyyourmiracles.com. And if you did enjoy this episode, I would really appreciate it if you left a review on iTunes, Stitcher, or wherever it is that you connect with awesome podcasts. Remember, the key to magnifying your miracles is remembering that your miracle is already here.